Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Today I am going to be doing a book haul because my book buying ban has not been going very well. So at the beginning of the year I decided that I was not going to buy any books until I cleared out a whole shelf on this bookshelf and 14 books later, um, technically 15 but 14 books later, here we are. Basically, what did it in for me was special editions. And, you know, I've talked to a few people about this. And a few people say that, you know, special editions are just an exception to the buying ban. However, I just feel like I should have had a little more self-control than that. Also, if my voice is a little nasally, I've had COVID for the last like week and I'm finally better. So, but I still have like the lasting effects of like the nasaliness and a little bit of the sniffles. So just ignore that. We still wanted to keep the YouTube going. Okay, so. So the buying ban actually got broken because I bought the limited edition of Rootless Vows from Barnes & Noble, which you guys have already seen on my channel. So I decided I'm not going to include that, but I wanted to mention that that is the main reason why the book buying ban is not going well. But we can blame everything else aside from myself. So I'm very happy with that purchase. In that same purchase, I also bought All the Light We Cannot See, and I needed apparently I needed this exclusive edition. Um, I think it's the BNN exclusive or it might just be the hardcover. I'm not sure, but it's freaking beautiful. The actual like book itself is like a, it's not velvet, but it's just like a softer material. The inside, the end pages are beautiful and the actual pages themselves are also so good like it's like a um it's like a um it's like a photo book material like a magazine but like a coffee table book you know like the denser like glossier paper it's still pretty matte but it's just beautiful and I had to have this I've been recommended this book by so many people and so I knew that I wanted it and I had a gift card and I had points. So I actually didn't really pay that much for this at Barnes & Noble, but it's a part of the book buying ban brokenness. Then we're gonna go to a new release that I'm really excited about. Everyone's already been reading it and I just haven't yet. Um, it's Bride by Allie Hazelwood. I actually haven't read anything by Allie Hazelwood yet. Um, but I'm really excited to start with this because I feel like it's more up my alley than her other books. Although I did flip to a random page and there were definitely some words on there that I was like, I did not expect that to be there when I opened you up. But yeah, it's going to be a spicy time, I think, which not entirely by speed, but depending on the story. I can definitely get behind it. So this is the Target exclusive, um, which I'm not entirely sure what's different about it. I think maybe there's like foiling or something. But um, I bought a bunch of other books from Target. And when I was ordering them online, there was like a deal. So that's why I got this. Um, I am a sucker for deals and sales, if you couldn't tell. And the main reason why I even bought books from Target is this. It is this. I bought the whole ACOTAR series. And I've been talking about doing this for a while on my channel. So <laughs> it's probably about time that these made an appearance. No. Okay, the light that I was using to film died. And I really just feel like I'm on a roll. So we're just gonna keep filming. So hopefully the lighting is okay. Um, it's about time that I went ahead and bought these. I love the paperback versions because of the cover colors. So that is why I went with these. I've already read the first two books. I'm currently on 
the third and I'm actually going to do a whole video of reading this entire series. I'm just going to start it over. I'm going to make a whole video reading the whole series because I really want to have the physical experience of reading these um, and annotating and loving them because I feel like I've really just been loving more books that way. I love reading on my Kindle, um, but before I was treating my Kindle like, oh, these are just like quick, you know, popcorn reads, like nothing crazy. Um, but I have switched my Kindle mentality. So it is now no longer that. It is now for mm. buddy reading, basically. So uh, basically, if I'm reading something physically and I want to be in bed and I want to be comfortable, if it's on Kindle Unlimited, I am also downloading it on there. And we just swap formats back and forth. So, you know, our reading style has changed a bit. But yes, I want to make a video. I want to read the whole series. And obviously, I have the last two as well, which I love this color so, so much. Um, but I'm excited to really get into it because I feel like I did not give this series the chance that it deserved when I first read it. Okay, and like I said before, special editions are the main reason why this book buying man has not been going well. So guess what we have? More special editions. These next few I actually bought from a friend. So they are, I think... They said Fairy Loot and Owl Crate editions, um, but basically just subscription editions, and they were so nice, and they were getting rid of them. So I bought like one, two, three, five of them. What we have is One Dark Window, which I'm really excited about. Obviously, this is really popular on YouTube right now and just in general, and I've been wanting to read this, so when I saw this in the stack, in the picture that they sent me, I was like, okay, yes. Like, I want this one for sure. Um, look at the sprayed edges. They're like this nice, like, what would you call that? Like teal, turquoise color. Um, and the end papers are really cool. And so is the dust jacket when you take it off. On the inside, you can make it like even cooler. The actual book looks like this. So I'm excited. I really hope that I love this series as much as I'm anticipating loving it um, because I'm really going to treasure this like all the more. I really don't know much of what this book is about but I'm excited to read it and I'll probably include it in a reading vlog on my channel. Another book that I got from them is Book of Night by Holly Black and it is so stunning. Look at the black sprayed edges. I love them. And the inside is so cool. The actual book is beautiful. And then on the back you have this. I'm really excited because I love Spider White Chronicles by Holly Black. And I actually have not read anything else by Holly Black. Um, I want to. And I especially want to read like the Cruel Prince series and a few other things. Um, but I'm just excited to read some of her like older works and, you know, really just get back into it because Spider Wake was like a staple series for me. So excited to read this. Next we have The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea and this is just stunning. Like the edges are like extra special, extra special. And the inside is gorgeous. It's also signed by the author, which I did not realize until just now. <laughs> this one's from Fairy Loot. Um, the inside is beautiful, and so is the actual cover. So I'm so stoked on this. Um, this was also on my TBR. Literally every single book that I got from them was on my TBR. So I was like, okay, you know, like, this is just helping me out. And I got them each for like five bucks. So... The next two books that I got are from Rachel Griffith, Griffin. Um, it's The Nature of Witches. And then I think this is a, I don't know if it's a sequel or if it's just like a companion novel, but um, Wild is the Witch. So these are really cool. These are also like the first printing. So the actual book is really beautiful, um, but I'm excited. I want to read this like in the fall time when it's all 
you know, witchy and the fall vibes. So I'm excited to read these. And the last two books I actually got from a secondhand store. These are really, oh wait, there's three. There's three. There's three of them. I forgot. So actually the book buying man has really not been going well because there's 16 books, not 15. So the first book that I got from this secondhand um, bookshop, these are really random picks. Like these are really random, but they were in the dollar section. And I was like, okay, why not? Um, this first one is The Diamond in Your Pocket, Discovering Your Radiance. And I haven't really been that into like self-help books recently, but this one looked really interesting. Um, it's basically just describing the never ending search for fulfillment. So, you know, exploring the fact that like you're never truly fulfilled. It's just like a continuous journey. Um, so who knows when I'll get to this, but it's on my shelf now. And then the next book that I got is Ghost Soldiers, the epic account of World War II's greatest rescue mission. Really random pick on my part. <laughs> really random pick. I like reading more nonfiction things and I do find war stories interesting. In hindsight, I don't necessarily know what I was thinking by grabbing this. Um, even my boyfriend looked at this and was like, what? <laughs> I can't really explain this one. Um, but again, it was a dollar and I was like, oh, you know, why not? This last book is so old. Also, I'm just so confused by it, but this is the book. Someone tried to create their own sprayed edges. It's called The Mystery and Lore of Monsters, and it's old. It's very old, but it's really interesting because it's like the mystery and lore of monsters with accounts of some giants, dwarfs, and prodigies. So it kind of explores like accounts of like different mythical creatures and I thought that would be interesting. In hindsight, I don't, again, also really know what Jessica was thinking that day. I think maybe we were just thinking, you know, we'll try something new. Um, but there are so many other ways I could have gone. But anyway, this is a part of the book haul. And that's actually the last book of the book haul. So yes, you will see me reading most of these books on my channel, aside from the last three books. Um, so if you do want to see me read those, make sure you subscribe and like this video to make sure that things keep coming up on your feed. Happy St. Patrick's Day because this video is going up on St. Patrick's Day. I got my green on and I will see you in my next video. Bye.